Hi everybody, I'm here with the current Buccaneer goaltenders, Jake Koharski and Ryan Snowden, and we're at day three here at Buccaneer training camp, and so far, so good for everybody involved, and Jake and Ryan, thanks so much today for stopping by after practice. I know you guys have had a long day. Two skates today for the Bucks, so thanks for taking some time today to chat with me. Jake, Coming into this camp, you're coming off of a good season in North American League, as were you, Ryan. You were in Topeka. You were in Austin. What has the jump been like? I'll ask both of you this. From the North American League to the USHL, at least you're in your first few days of camp. Uh, I mean, for me, I don't think it's too too big of an adjustment, especially having a summer to you know train and get stronger and faster. But um, I just think uh, the big difference is here. You know, everyone's you know at the you know a premier. Uh, shooter, I suppose, and then all maybe only there's a handful of guys that can, you know, shoot the puck 100% um, like these guys can. But uh, no, I mean, I think it's been good so far. I've uh, I felt good out there, so I think it's been going really well. How about you, Ryan? I have to agree. It's just it's nothing huge. It's just that little bit of speed increase, and the guys know what they're doing a lot more. Everyone knows what they're doing instead of just what Jake said, a handful of guys. and. But yeah, like you said, over the summer, just I was training too, just to get faster, stronger, to keep up with the speed, and felt good out there and ready to start the season. A lot of fans out here are wondering, with Nick McNabb and Jan Rizika on their way out, you guys are coming in, want to know more about not only what you do on the ice, but off the ice. Take a second, doesn't have to be too long, but introduce yourselves a little bit to the Bucks fans and you know what you like to do, what, what makes your guys' uh, clock tick away from the rink. I mean, I'm a pretty simple guy. Uh... You know, I'm in my senior year of high school, so I'm sure it's probably taking a lot of my time. But uh, no, in the summer, I mean, I'm a big lake guy. I like to fish a lot. Um, I don't golf as much as uh, some other guys. But yeah, I mean, I just kind of do whatever I'm feeling. Just go outdoors, be outside, and uh, just uh, get away from the game as much as I can. Ryan? Uh, I'm just kind of that. I'm that guy in the friend group who likes to go do something every second. I'm like, let's play football, let's play basketball, let's play tennis if we have to. Uh, no, but I like to play golf a lot. I golf a lot. I golfed in high school, so whenever I get the chance, I golf. Uh, I like to fish a lot, too. Uh, me and my buddies go out to the lakes and fish all the time. But, yeah, I'm just really hyper outside the rink. I like to do a lot of stuff, but I'm also down to just chill, watch a couple movies, and you know, hang out with the boys. You guys are new to the league, but not new to junior hockey. I know when I chatted with both of you coming into the season before you got here, you talked about how a year of juniors was huge, and, and that year in the North American League was big for stepping into and becoming a goaltender here in the United States Hockey League. Talk more about what you think that that year did and what you feel like coming in as new to the Bucks, but not new to junior hockey. I'll start with you, Ryan. Uh, it's pretty much getting down to the whole getting through a season because a junior season is completely different than like an 18U midget season. It's You're on the ice every day. You're in the gym almost every day. And it was just getting your body ready and feeling out if you can actually complete a full junior year because there are a lot of guys who get in here and after the first couple months they just their body wears down they don't have the stamina to go the whole year so having that one year under my belt feels really good and I know what to expect. Jake? Yeah I agree with Ryan um, you know having that one year down um, you know I know Ryan and I were not on uh, playoff teams last year so our seasons were kind of cut short but uh, you know just having the ability to you know take it one day at a time and um, you know, not really focus too much on what's behind you, or really in front of you. Just kind of focus on you know today and getting better on that day. If we fast forward to the end of the season and you both sit down and look in the mirror and say, "I had a successful year," what do you think will have to have happened for you to say that and be confident in the way you played this season? I think as a goaltender, you know, it's so different than any any other uh, position, you know. Um, there's a lot of things that go on in front of you that you can't really control. So I think, um, you know, if I just know I worked hard every day and uh, if the team's success, you know, follows that, then uh, I think, you know, for myself, it'll be a successful year, um, you know, as well as the team. But I think it's just a matter of, you know, everyone being on the same page and uh, coming together. Ryan? It was well said by Jake there, but it's, yeah, it's the same thing. Just come, as a goalie, it's completely different than other positions because everyone's against you like as soon as something happens it's it's easy to blame the goalie but I think for us it's just easy to like we got to look forward and focus on us during the week and then focus on also help the team during the uh, weekends when we play 
and I think that'll lead to success for the team. Well, games one and two of the Bucks preseason begin this weekend, Friday night at Young Arena against the Waterloo Blackhawks, and the same opponent back here at Buccaneer Arena on September 16th. Face off 7 p.m. sharp here from Urbandale. For everybody here at Buccaneer Arena, thanks to all of you for hopping on board with our another edition of Bucks TV. Until we set sail again, I'm Ben Gislason.